Rock Coleman is representing the Christian Friends of Israel here on the ground for the Isaiah Projects. And here we are, finished the project today. We met with the public relations people at Barnes and Medical Center. Rob, you have anything to say? I want to say it's an honor to come to this hospital. This is the place where so many people that are being hurt from these terrible terroristic attacks taking place in Gaza. They're coming here. They're being treated. I am here. CFI has offered their support. And, and we need help. Listen, let me tell you. They need defibrillators. Right now, they need 10 defibrillators at $6,500 each. They need EKG, e, no, EEG, EEG, EEG. EEG machines at $3,500 a piece. A lot of you have written me. You have said, we want to help. How can we help? I'm telling you right now, you can save a life by getting this hospital what it needs. America and to the church world, this is our chance to say we have been looking for an opportunity, even this morning, even this morning, our office in America has written me saying money is coming in. I praise God for it. I praise God for David Krugman. This hospital has treated us royally. We brought them a van load of snacks and waters and medical supplies. And we're going to, we're going to do more, David, because your passion is infectious. Your passion has caused us to, you've stayed with us a long time. You, you're not a friend that comes and leaves. And um, our 10 years of being in the land, he was here when I came, and he'll remain when I'm gone. But 10 minutes from the border, we came through. There were rockets hitting at different places. We saw drones in the air. We're going even closer to the border. I'm not sure how close we can get there. But pray for this man. Pray for this hospital. There are people that hate this hospital. They hate, the terrorists hate this hospital because it's turning around the, the evil they wanted to do. Yeah, so just to know that everybody who is injured around this area, this is where everyone goes to get treated. In fact, there's an underground hospital. In case there is a rocket attack, it does affect us higher part of a hospital, they can still continue medical services. So this is a personal relationship that uh, we've had over the years because of Sarah Kramer. We actually inaugurated the underground hospital before the Prime Minister was able to do so. So I think it's important to understand the vital need of this particular hospital that's near the Gaza border. Please keep us in your prayers as we continue to address the war efforts on the front lines. Blessings from Israel.